So I'm up in Yorkshire. I'm at GRS Motorcycles and um, I bought myself a new bike. So what do you reckon? Did I get a pan new pair in? Did I get that tri uh, Triumph BMW GS? Or was it the KTM for touring on? No, 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 it wasn't. It was this ZX10. What do you reckon? There we are, there's a bit of the castle in York outside and uh, what we got in here. So uh, yes, I have purchased a ZX10 or Lunatic A. So uh, got the owner's manual, obviously Kar Karazaki warranty. It's got all three keys, including the red one and loads of history on the bike. So uh, yes, I've uh, pushed the button. I've basically, this is like a bucket list type bike for me. Let's try and let's see if I can set you up. I'm going to set you up without you falling down. You're going to behave? Yeah, cool. So, yeah, this is a bucket list bike. Oh, Dave's probably pulling his hair back out back in uh, Suffolk. Um, he did have a, an absolutely gorgeous um, Red Speed Triple. I think it was the second gen one, which I was looking at. You might have seen it in one of my other videos. So, uh, I was looking at that, but then I was like, oh, I can't really justify having two speed triples. It's not a different bike to what I've already got because I've got the speed one, which is like, again, it's like a, it's more of a keeping forever type bike. It's quite, it's a classic bike now. It's a 1997, so, and it's the Tom Cruise bike. So I'm going to keep that. So I thought, I'll tell you what, it's my birthday this month. I'm, I'm going to get, I've never had a ZX-10. I've fancied a ZX-10. So that's what I've gone and done. I pulled the trigger. I've got the ZX-10. Just going through the uh, the history on the, on the bike. Um, if you've got the Car Vertical app, I've uh, I've got that as well, and I did a, a check on that, and there was nothing glaring come up on on that. No warnings like the bike's been written off or anything like that. Um, the only thing I can see that the bike has had an issue with was uh, the rectifier burnt the regulator rectifier. You had to have a replacement, and that was back in 2017. So I'm guessing I need to do a bit more homework on the ZX tens. But um, yeah, it looks like it's had a uh, yeah new rectifier fitted then. And the only thing on the MOT was, uh, <laughs> the advisory was, the exhaust is noisy. Um, yeah, it's got a Prokovic uh, exhaust on the back, Akropovic exhaust. So, yes. So that's it. So I'll tell you what, um, I'm not going to talk anymore while we're in here. Let's talk about it on the bike. Why it is I've gone and purchased a second-hand 17-year-old Second generation ZX10. So, first order of business will be get some fuel in this uh, puppy for the trip back. I'm guessing I'm probably gonna have to refuel around about the 150 mile mark. And uh, I'll tell you what we've got to do as well. Ah, we need to do these mirrors, don't we? Not that these mirrors are probably gonna be. Uh, all that great. Uh, probably gonna have to fucking adjust that one at a later date, you know. Go on, it, mate. Off you go. Up, oh, cheers. He's a nice fella. Thank you very much. So, 200 odd miles to do. Get dialed in on this uh, beast. You're probably asking, uh, Jim, what the hell are you doing? Why are you buying a ZX10? So, like I alluded to earlier, this is the uh, Gen 2 version. It's a little bit more fatter, wider, comfier. Basically, perfect for your uh, your middle-aged fat old man to ride. So, uh, and we shall see. We'll put that to the test. It's uh, quite mad to be on a um, such a, a in a racing crouch again. <laughs> It ain't too bad to be honest though so far. Sharps at that. So I'd be interested to see here uh, my GoPro angle, see how good that is. So far the gearbox is nice and slick as you would expect. So um, yes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, get to know this bad boy. So uh, I will catch up with you guys at the next fuel stop. See you in a bit. That is unless anything exciting happens. Hopefully not, fingers crossed, touch wood. Oh, here we go. 
first lot of filtering. I think I had this last time. Leaving roadworks everywhere. I'll tell you what I've noticed while we're uh, pooching along here is, is uh, how low this is to the ground. I just went to put my foot down and yeah, I've got a proper bend in my leg. It's uh, really low to the ground. That been click and collect lorry earlier. He didn't want. He didn't want to let me through. He didn't want to let me go through. <laughs> Done a hundred miles, well, just over, and uh, I think it's time to find a petrol station. I think that way. If I time that right, I should have about a hundred and twenty odd miles to go to get home. I have noticed on this the uh, throttle's a bit choppy. It's, uh, it's a little bit like on off. You know what I mean? Oh, boom! We're here. Right, let's get some uh, juice in. Stop shouting, Jim. A few moments later. So while I'm uh, putting on my gloves, let's have another little chat. So I've uh, just filled the bike up again. I put in 10 litres. So, uh, yeah, should be good to go now. No more stops. Um, adjusted the mirror. Get in there and uh, so the bike when you when you got it it comes with a, uh, a PDI pre, pre a delivery inspection apparently so now the only thing I noticed with that was it didn't bloody clean it that well there uh, might just be me being a bit you know being a bit anal is that the word but uh, yeah it's a bit grubby in places so that's going to be one of my jobs when I get home is to um, give the thing a, a good clean oh Right, let's have a look. Let's see if that mirror. I'm quite impressed with the mirror so far. Especially that one. Uh, is that working? We have to do it on the fly. Right then. Right, let's get out of Dodge. Ooh. Oh, I'll tell you what I've done. I forgot to do. Anyone else forget this? Trip meter. Need to reset the trip meter. There we go. Where are we? Let's reset you. Reset. Three. Come on, reset, are you? Cool. Right, that's done. Right, let's go. To be honest, the riding position's comfy. The only thing that's giving me grief at the minute is uh, the fact that I've got my my backpack on. So, uh, which has got quite a lot of gear in, which is uh, quite annoying. Turn left, or I will turn left. Right, so I think I'm going to uh, knock this video on the head. If anything exciting's happened, I will add it to the video. So, like I always say, if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, smash that red subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell. That way, every time this idiot uploads a video, you will get notified. And uh, thank you, Satnap, for talking all over that, Mr. Wazap. So I will, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.